Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again. All right, guys, I've gotten a ton of requests for this beer. Um, so here it is. I finally got around to doing it. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but here it is. This, my friends, is from Avery Brewing, one of my personal favorite breweries. This is Memphistopheles Stout, which is a 15.95% Imperial Stout, so an absolutely massive Imperial Stout. It's part of their, their Demon series. Um, this is batch six, which was released in December of 2010. So it's got about six months of age on it, but at 15.9%, almost 60%, I don't think that's going to affect it so much. So with that said, guys, I've never had this one. I'm excited about it. Let me get into a glass. Let you know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Memphistopheles Stout. All right, guys. So the appearance of the Mephistopheles Stout. You know, I would hope for a beer called Mephistopheles, this son of a bitch would be black. And it is. It's dark as night. Can't see anything through it. Um, poured really, really thick. Super viscous. I'm surprised how much head there was on there. There's about half a finger of this dark brown kind of dank looking um, head real tight nice tight white bubbles on there alcohol feet on the glass definitely definitely in this one um it's just a massive massive kind of evil looking imperial stout really really nice stuff lives up to the name Ooh, that is huge um big big dark chocolate notes espresso beans coffee just flowing out of this one I'm also getting a slight kind of um, black licorice kind of flavor to it. Um, there's big kind of dark fruits in there. Yeah, like rum-soaked raisins, um, rum-soaked figs. It's just these big, deep, dark kind of alcohol, phenolic kind of dark smelling fruits in there. Big roasted quality, almost a touch of smokiness. There's a nice sweetness coming through, not overly sweet, but a nice kind of sugary sweetness in there, kind of blending real nice with the chocolate. Yeah, it's a big smelling beer. All right, the taste on the Mephistopheles. Cheers. That is a big beer. But you know, it's drinkable. Um, it's real smooth. It's a real well, it's a balanced beer, believe it or not. First thing I taste, my first impression was chocolate. Almost to the point of like a KBS type of chocolate. Um, right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice chocolate sweetness mixed with like a bitterness of a dark chocolate in there. Really, really sticks around in your mouth. Middle of the tongue, wow, it's just being coated with a, a syrupy sweetness that blends with the nice bitterness from the chocolate. Again, that coffee kind of coming through to help kind of cut that sweetness in there. Um, nice kind of very, very sweet finish. I'm getting aftertaste of that dark fruit, those figs and chocolate raisins in there. Um, the, the taste of like a, a, a rum cask, um, that kind of taste is kind of living in my mouth right now. It's doing this weird kind of funky dance, but it's really, really nice. Um, Definitely a good amount of carbonation here to help clean the palate. Alcohol is definitely present, but it's not overly present at all, like a dogfish head, worldwide stout or anything. It's definitely there, you feel the warming, um, but it plays with the roastiness, the chocolate characters, the sweetness of the stout really nicely, and it helps to kind of balance those out. So for a 16% beer, it drinks really nice, super well blended, well crafted beer, just really, really good stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Mephistopheles Imperial Style from Avery Brewing, 16% alcohol by volume. It is a limited availability. Um, you can probably still get it, though. I'm going to give this one an A-. minus. Um, you know, the alcohol isn't overpowering. There's nice flavor to it. There's a nice kind of, you know, just deep, dark fruits and chocolate and coffee and roasted qualities to it that all come together to form this big kind of black hole of flavor. Um, and it really just kind of whirls and enhances um, kind of your taste buds and brings the best out of them. If that might sound a little bit dramatic, but that's really what it does. It's just a big kind of dank black beer, um, for lack of a better word. And the alcohol just helps to kind of encourage that. And you feel the heat, but you don't taste it. It's really a nice drinking beer. It's definitely a sipper. Get a sip, the snifter for it. So with that said, guys, got to give this one an A-. minus. Um, really, really nice stuff. So definitely check it out. And remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.